Hey friends, it's Ashley and today I'm here to share a new project with you that I'm really excited about. Um, since I've joined several design teams this year, I needed a way to kind of keep track of my assignments and then just kind of my weekly schedule. And I've seen some ladies using um, functional planners and uh, especially the Hemlock and Oak weekly planner. And I decided to get one and um, I ordered it last Sunday and it came this past Thursday. So I've been excited to start working in it. And I just wanted to show you how I'm going to set up my week. Um, this is for this coming week, the 23rd through the 29th. And so I'm going to start out by stamping the dates at the top. And this does have lines. Um, it's a lined planner. And I knew that I would not be able to follow the lines um, completely across. So I decided to try this trick with washi tape um, and just kind of go across the page um, to give myself a straight line that I could see a little bit better. Um, and I made sure to put it just a little bit below the line where I wanted to stamp my date so that way I wouldn't stamp on it and have part of my date um, on the tape so that when I peel it up it's missing. So I wanted to stamp just a little bit above that to just make sure that I was stamping straight across um, just to have kind of a cohesive look. It's not a big deal if it's crooked um, but sometimes my OCD is funny about things like that. Sometimes it doesn't care and other times it does. So <laughs> for the dates I wanted to make sure those were lined up um, and I went ahead and got those in. And some of the ladies, um, Nancy Damiano, she um, does um, pages in this Hemlock and Oak, and she always does washi tape at the bottom, which I thought was a really cute idea. Um, it's a good way for you to follow a color scheme. I really wanted to use this rainbow washi from Heidi Swap, and most of the um, embellishments and stickers I'm using are from Heidi. Um, I'm also using some of her stamps here. Um, this is one of the alpha stamps from Heidi that I'm going to use to stamp May. And I'm also going to see, also going to use that same washi trick again and just kind of get my letters lined up. So they will be in that center spot right there. Um, I'm not necessarily... Not not necessarily using all of the um, prompts and things in the planner. Um, there is a little space on the side that says things like goals and tasks. Um, I'm going to cover that up in just a minute. Um, I'm just making it useful for what I need it for. Um, so I did want to go ahead and use that space there um, on the left hand side to add the month. And once I get that stamped, um, I am going to add a little sticker there also to put 2022 and that's also from um, Heidi. So I'm gonna just grab that with my little tweezers and kind of overlap it over the stamping. I kind of like that look where it just goes over some of the letters. This is one of the stamps from Heidi's Stamp Society and it had um, the years on it, I think up to like 2025. And since it was all together, I thought that would be easy to stamp right there in black and I like how that turned out. And here is the part where it comes in and I'm going to cover the little section there at the top left hand and I wanted to use a sticker um, but I'm going to put it on some white cardstock because I wanted to kind of measure that area so I didn't need the sticky backing on that and I just put the cardstock behind it to make it easier to do that so I could trim it down to fit in that space. And once I get that there, I still had the part showing that said tasks. So I wanted to find something else that I could put there. So I go back through those stickers and decided to use one of these little word phrases. Um, I used creating. I had looked at a different one, but decided to go with the black um, because that covered up the word really well right there. And then I've been waiting on this stamp all week. Um, this is from the Ton Stamps. Jenny McGarvey, um, she also does a lot of functional planning with the Hemlock and Oak Planner. And I have been binge watching her videos <laughs> like crazy. Um, and she had this stamp set and it's a really good um, set for functional planning because it has lots of words like um, post, which is what I'm using right here. So this is a way to keep track of my Instagram post throughout the week. And I am just going to go ahead and stamp that all the way across. Um, most days I kind of know ahead of time during the week what I'm going to be posting on Instagram. Um, some days there are little pop-up days that come up. Um, but yeah, she's used this stamp and I really wanted to get it. And it also has little icons with it. This one has kind of the Instagram logo. Um, so I just put that there to go ahead and write in um, my post. And I really like how that looks um, in a different color ink. So I'm just going to go through, I had written down some of my assignments in a notebook for the week of May 23rd 
23rd through the 29th. So I'm just kind of referencing, referencing that to write down um, what those posts are. And then you can see I went ahead and also stamped a video um, for when I have videos for my YouTube channel. Um, I also stamped blog for a blog post that I knew had to go up. And then I'm also doing kind of like our schedule um, if we have appointments, um, like standing things like karate and guitar or something that we have every week. Um, and then, of course, we usually have haircuts, doctor's appointments, dentist appointments, orthodontist appointments. I feel like we live at the orthodontist. So <laughs> just to kind of keep track of those and um, putting those in there also. Now at the bottom, this is another fun thing I've seen where some ladies keep track of like their weekly menu. Um, I probably won't plan out the meals and have these on here ahead of time. Um, these will be something that I write in after we have them each night. Um, so I decided to use these stickers and these are color theory stickers from Studio Calico. And I have probably had these for possibly like four years <laughs> and I still like even when I purge I still keep these because they do come in handy um, if you need them for something like this and so I really like having those there along the bottom and then I have this little stamp with the spoon fork and knife this is from citrus twist kits and so I'm just going to stamp that right there above each of the labels and I'll probably change up the look of that each um, each month, probably, or maybe each week, um, just so it doesn't get boring. It will still be like our menu, but I'll probably use some different stamping or something down there to document that each week. And now that I have pretty much my main setup of how I want it laid out, um, I wanted to go in and add some embellishing, some decorations. So I'm using one of these kind of... Um, brush um, stamps this is from close to my heart um, I do not remember the exact name of this one but I will definitely put that in the description box below if you want to check it out um, I like how it gives kind of a mixed media like paint splatter look in the background so I just wanted to stamp that there and then um, put enjoy the little things that's also a Heidi stamp and I like how that one's a tall skinny um, stamp that fits in that little section right there and I'm not going to add a whole lot of decoration to this. Um, like I said, it is a functional planner. So most of it is to remind me of things that, you know, are coming up for the week. But obviously, since I love paper and stickers and stamps, it does have to be cute. So I will be adding some of the cute stuff also. And I don't know if you can tell on the video, but there were a couple of places um, where when I was stamping, um, it either got on some of the packaging, the ink did, um, or on my hand. And so I had a couple of places that had some smudged ink. And I just used either another sticker or stamped over it to kind of cover that up. There's usually always kind of a way to fix that. So I just camouflaged it um, just by covering it up with something else. And I did go back to another one of those brush stamps. I wanted to bring in some more of the yellow um, ink. So I put that there with um, details stamped over it. And I kind of wanted to balance out that bigger stamping um, since I had some on the left hand side and bring some to the right hand side also. And I do add one more um, kind of just area of black stamping here at the bottom left. And that will finish up my project today. I will link up the products I used in the description box below. So make sure you check those out if you're interested in any of the things I used today. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a thumbs up. And if this is your first time to visit my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching today and I look forward to seeing you next time.